Good morning, my This time your daily Splunky RSVP challenge. As always, it's going to be a minimum of a 30-minute challenge, and then I'll live for 30 minutes. If you die within that 30-minute period of time, you will be getting filler. That way nobody knows when it is I'm going to be kicking a bucket. It's a spoiler-free RSVP playthrough, which means I'm required to run the shopkeepers, and I'm not allowed to use a shotgun. For more information, visit the link that is in the description on YouTube's so that you know what the frick RSVP is, and maybe even what it stands for. Because it makes sense. Robbing shopkeepers very poorly, by the way. Because, because I, I leave the shotgun. Because that's their most valuable item. Always. Arguably over a jetpack. That's actually an interesting th thought. If you had a choice between a jetpack and a shotgun, knowing that you are not going to see either of them for the rest of the game, um, I'm pretty sure that even the most, uh, veteran Spelunky player would actually have to stop and think about that if they were looking for survival. If they're looking for actual monies to get, like, total money, you take the jetpack. It's more maneuverable. But outside of the jetpack, or outside of, like, being able to maneuver around and get more monies, for survival's sake... And just versatility in general. It's hard to beat that shotgun. Okay, that was a good shot. Crap. Right here. No. Nope. There we go. Good for some gold. chat talking about what I just said. Come on out of there. There we go. Okay. Get pugs, then we're good to go. Now you need to stop reading chat. Because it gets difficult from this point on. Okay, no more reading chat. Reading chat. The next thing I read in chat is reading chat will get you killed, Pack. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ash. You are right. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Get that and get out. Yes, yes, I can. Okay. Take that. Oh, he just died. Nice. I can get him to trigger by throwing something at him. That would be I ideal. I'm bombing it. I do not like that positioning at all. 
That, that was too likely to get me killed on the spikes on, underneath them. So, no. Let's not go back and find out because there's a lot of spikes in this level. And now Zero is spamming my chat. Don't read chat, I'm helping. Don't read chat, I'm helping. Don't read chat, I'm helping. Thank you, Zero! My spam mod. My mod of spam. And shouting. Come on. There it is. I was just thinking, it's 1-4, and we haven't gotten the key yet. <laughs> okay, I saw the box, now where's the key? Oh, hi. So it might be up there. There's a Cali altar up there. Alright, let's start by getting pugs out of there. Taking a quick peek around. trigger that yet. Now I want to get right here. So first we're going to go here. I'd rather use bomb. Because I don't have that many ropes left. Uh, now you... We're going to foolishly release... Into the world. Not dead yet! Okay, there's the key. Okay. I'm gonna put the bomb... Oh, crap. How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna put the bomb there. We need to get that key out of there and into that chest somehow. And for the record, I now have to pee. It's a minor distraction. It is worth noting.
Awesome. There goes all my ropes. Got that. Okay, getting out is going to be more difficult now. Because I don't... Oh, crap, I don't have any more ropes. And I got to do the gauntlet below. You got to be kidding me! I wouldn't have made it anyways. I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it. If I was able to somehow get a bomb on the face of one of those guys down there before he killed me, he would have ran into me and shot me before the bomb blew up. I was I was screwed. I, I had no way out of that. Once I left the gun behind, I was done. I needed that gun for new maneuverability. Darn. Good run, though. That was fun. That was a good, difficult level. There are times that I wish that I could just go back and do the exact same level again just to play it. That's definitely one of those times. I would love to try that one again. That was fun. Knowing everything that you that you need to know about that level and go back in and try it again like knowing the key was in the bottom left beyond the shopkeepers And still try and get everything like still get the dog onto the altar and the shopkeepers And get the key and just, just do the whole gambit with that one level that's like a challenge level right there. I'd love to just take that one and copy paste it. Yeah, that one was fun. Without the shotgun, of course. That, that would have actually been a ton easier with a shotgun. Yep, that'll do. Let's go. Pack bets. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Locking bets. That was Betty. Okay, payout. Start uh, starting a new round. Okay. There you go. Bets are done. Obviously worth it. Alright, come on down. So come on down. There we go. Thank you! Bang! 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 Bang!
Alright, you got the pugs. Sure, we're looking for the key. That's all that we care about now. Locking bets. I just gotta say... This is a day of probabilities. Because I keep doing stuff under the idea that the chances of X happening are slim and then X happens like the chances of that shopkeeper hitting the exit perfectly to bounce out of that hole at that exact moment in time that I was going to kill that scorpion just because it was there was really really slim then it happened We had one in practice happen too that was, the probability was very, 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 very remote. Hey look, look at it. I'm standing here, I'm here. Okay. Probability was a little bit higher on that one than I thought. Maybe the, um, the, uh, what is it? What are they? The, the, there you go. The wheel game ones? Since they're a smaller area, the probability of them bouncing through the door is actually increased. I don't know. It just didn't feel like the probability of him jumping out at that moment in time was high. And it wasn't because it took him a while to bounce out even with that, but still. You know, I love when people say, dude, you just had some really impossible thing happen to your detriment. You should play your lottery numbers today. It's like, okay, but it, usually when one of those improbable things has happened, it's usually bad. And um, wouldn't that mean that your lottery numbers are guaranteed to lose? Wouldn't this be the day to play the lottery numbers you never thought would win? Or, more likely, go up to your enemy and give them your lottery numbers. Then something might actually happen. If your likelihood of things occurring has increased to the detriment of you, then your, uh, your enemy get, getting your lottery numbers to work for them is probably the best bet. Right? That is sort of buzz. I did hear a buzz. I paid my phone bill. Thank you, phone. I paid my phone bill. That's awesome. I hear you, bugs. Where you at? There you are. Patsy, I'll place the rope. You want to open them up? I mean, I mean, open the path to him.
Uh. Patsy? You don't think you could have blown that up a little bit better to give me a way out? No. Could you drop a rope? Okay. Th th thank you, Patsy. Well, that would have been useful a moment ago, wouldn't it? Okay. That does now make robbing him more difficult, though. Bouncing shoes always throw me off for robbing him. Thank you, Diaper. That was an eggplant run pack. Why did you do that? Why do you hate chat? I know he forgot he's pack. He doesn't pay attention. What do I do now? There was no eggplant run there. Eggplant requires an altar. There was no altar. And I totally didn't entirely completely forget. Just mostly. I did promise them a while ago that if um, an eggplant run were to be possible in this multiplayer patsy mode, I would take the opportunity since... Really, that's kind of what uh, the eggplant run is designed for in the first place. I wouldn't mind doing it. It's designed for multiplayer. Of course, remembering that when I've avoided it for this long, that that gets difficult. Fish in mines. Why am I reading the chat? That made no sense. There, fish don't even show up in the mines. you need to pay out. Well, oh, the, the last Patsy run was a shopkeeper mind, wasn't it? Okay. I forgot that one, huh? My bad. There we go.
explosive. Like, I need to stop looking over there. But I've already said that for like half an hour, so. We'll see if that actually happens. Half an hour? 26 minutes. Okay. About 20 of those I've said, I should stop looking at chat. Oh, crap. <sighs> Got him. Oh, you didn't get like getting stabbed by the tiki trap a while ago? That sting? I timed that perfectly! Beyond coffee, you know, I want chocolate for that one. It's coffee chocolate, but coffee and chocolate. Chocolate. Still chocolate. Jungle shopkeeper.
that'll do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed the chocolate. You guys are... Well, now he's dead. You guys have a good one.